Hello, it's Lydia here again. I thought today we'd draw Dr. Dog. Some of you might have seen Dr. Dog. I made a little book with um, Professor James Logan from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, I think then. Here's a proper professor. <laughs> and uh, we made a little free book about the coronavirus for everyone just to help explain what's going on and things. You might have seen it. Um, if you haven't, I'll put the link uh, down at the bottom of the video and you can, you can download it. It's available on Twinkle. Some of you might know Twinkle from school. And it's on my website as well. So I thought we'd draw him. Uh, he's quite easy for once. I've picked something quite easy for us to draw. Here he is, can you see him here? There he is, he looks like that. Um, so I'm going to pop him here so I can see him, what he looks like. Sit over there, Dr. Dog. There we are. Right, so he's got quite a big round head. I'm going to just draw his head. Now I should really leave gaps for his ears, but I'm just going to draw his head sort of that shape. Can you see? Okay. And then he's got two ears that are sort of like that. You can colour him in afterwards if you like, it's all brown. And he's got two eyes, of course. And a triangle nose. And he's got a patch over this eye, like that. And a smiley mouth, of course. And he's got two rosy cheeks. He's got, he's wearing his doctor's coat. I'm going to do him that shape, just like he is in the picture we saw. He's got a little v-neck with his collar and a button there. And he's got a, the rest of his coat comes down like that. And he's got another button there. He's got his, now he hasn't got paws, he's got arms and hands. So you give him his hands, one, two, three, four fingers, and his thumb, that's five, hadn't forgotten one. So one, two, three, four, five. He's got a big round tummy bit and bottom with two legs, one, two, and he's got his tail comes out like that. Look okay? Let's put his coat up a bit further. Now he's got his stethoscope which comes around here. That's kind of horseshoe shape like that and the other bit comes around like that. So you know he's a doctor, he's a proper doctor and he's got a pocket with a bone in and a pencil. So I figure if you're a a doctor dog, that's all you need, isn't it? A bone and a pencil and a stethoscope. That's probably all he needs. That's him. That's it. We'll give him some toes. So we could draw him, we could draw him standing on the grass with some flowers like I've done in the pictures. Let's drop some grass. More flowers. And we could draw a rainbow, of course we've done lots of rainbows, haven't we, lately? We could draw the rainbow over him. We could draw a butterfly. We could even draw, how about we sneak in a little ladybird? We could draw a little ladybird here, look. Is that okay? <laughs> little ladybird. Uh, anything else? The rainbow's a bit wonky looking, isn't it? I'm sure ra your rainbows will be much better than that. I might draw some clouds. 
some clouds. Let's move that. One. There we are. Very simple, Doctor Dog. So as I say, if you haven't seen it, you can download it and have a good close-up look of Dr. Dog. His arms actually look a bit long there. <laughs> He's got long arms in this picture. He's also got a little mouse friend. Can you see? Or should I draw the mouse friend? I should draw the mouse, shouldn't I? Let's draw the little mouse. Um, if I draw him over here. So the mouse is always wondering what's going on and what Dr. Do Dr. Dog is up to. Let's do his little whiskers. Now he's got a t-shirt on and he's going to be waving as well. His arm's a bit wonky. It's one of those days today again. What's, that, what's the matter with me? I can't draw. I must, must be able to practice. Shorts. He's got very long legs for a mouse. <laughs> you have to let me off. And a tail, of course. There's his little mouse friend. There we are, Dr. Dog. I'm going to write his name underneath. There we go. I look forward to seeing your Dr. Dogs. Okay, bye.